I'm Rachel Doris. I'm the design director of the Pollock Studio, live from my mother's kitchen, here today to talk to you about bleach cleanable fabrics. So what makes a fabric bleach cleanable? In order for the fabric's color to hold up to being cleaned with bleach without fading, it must either use high energy dyes, that's dye using high temperatures to permanently bond with the fiber, or it must be solution dyed. So we're talking about only synthetic fibers here. We're talking about polyester, nylon, acrylic, polyolefin, and polypropylene. So what is solution dye? Solution dye is where we add the color to the synthetic fiber when it's in the liquid state. So when we're working with these fibers, it starts off looking like little shards of plastic, then it's melted down to the liquid stage, and then it is extruded through something called a spinneret that looks like a shower head. So there are all these tiny holes in the spinneret. The liquid fiber goes through those holes, and when it hits the air, it hardens into fiber, then it is spun into yarn. So now with a solution dye, we are adding the chemicals of the dye when the solution is liquid. So it bonds, it molecularly bonds with the fiber in the liquid stage. So it's actually a very scientific process. So I will illustrate a couple examples of what a solution dye is like. So of course we do safety first around here. So starting with the radish, the radish is like dyeing a yarn that is white or a woven fabric that is white and you're adding the color on top. So you can see the color is on the outside but the center is white. Now a solution dye is like the carrot where the color goes through and through. I can chop my yellow and my orange carrots and you can see the centers still have the color. So the color, you can't get it out. It's, a, it's an inherent part of the carrot or it's like jello. Jello, when you start, you have your liquid, then you add the flavor and you mix it together, and that color bonds with the liquid. You can't get it out, it's an inherent part of the jello. And here we have my jello. Mmm, yum yum. So, what are uh, bleach cleanable fabrics good for? Of course, they're good for outdoor use because they will hold up to the sun with minimal fading. High traffic areas that need frequent cleaning such as restaurants, public spaces, shoe departments, hotel lobbies, senior living, kitchens and children's rooms, and locations and situations that require disinfecting such as senior living, doctors and dentists offices, and cleaning for viruses. Now bleach cleanable fabrics don't need to be flat and stiff, it's all about the yarns you use. So in this fabric we have these stripes and we're using some heathered yarns to make it interesting, or we're using a boucle and chenille to create an interesting texture and a beautiful hand, or it doesn't even have to be uh, woven, it could be a non-woven. So the way that the yarn is spun and the fabric is constructed and woven, both of those things contribute to the durability of a fabric. So if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below, or feel free to DM me. Thanks, and that's all today about bleach cleanable fabrics.